Most of us set goals and take serious actions at the start of each year. Yet sadly 98% of us fail to achieve our dreams. But there are some minority of students including my friend now an IES officer, he studied in a tier 3 college, had a girlfriend, but he's not serious in studies, had multiple areas. So by the end of the fourth year, he graduated jobless and his girlfriend left him. Now this is his beginning because after that, you know what happened. A lot of how we are today are determined and defined by events that happen at duration of our life. To this day, I use the word, the phrase pain and suffering inside our company with great glee. Hi, if you are new here, I am Raghuram Sandrakar and I am Tech Alam of IIT Madras. Along with it, in the past 5 years, I had tried more than 100 apps and in this video, I will share the 8 of the best ones that helped me to stay motivated, beat distractions and achieve my goals. Let's get started. Step 1. Take it personal. I know a person, let's call him Deadpool. Deadpool is a backbencher guy in school. He never studies. I think he joined engineering because his friends chose it. Goes to class because of attendance criteria, no meaning, no purpose. One time in the mid of 5th sem, Deadpool was scrolling fall in class. And Professor noted it and told him to stand up and asked a very simple question. What are the subjects you are having this semester? He had no clue. He had no idea of what he is doing and why he is doing. That Deadpool is me by the way. That Deadpool is me by the way. I graduated jobless. You then after B, I realized that if I still the same person, then there is no life for me. There will be a lot of social judgments. My friends and family will earn more than me. They will see pity of me and they don't respect me. So I decided to change and I changed. Fast forward to years later, I completed my master's from IIT Madras with 8.69 CGPA, published a paper in Springer, cracked IELTS in 7 days, got PhD at South Korea, now a consultant and a full-time creator. And the reason is pain. As Tony Robbins puts it, change happens when the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change. So step one in simple words, find your pain. What is your pain? Why do you want to come back so bad? But the truth is not all those people who started with deep pain are making a greatest comeback. Why? You'll be surprised. Scientifically, there is just one reason that contributes to 90% of failures. How many of you been in this situation before? The reason is not having priority. Huberman puts it best. Most people who try to achieve many goals simultaneously fail at all of them. This is what I call the overhaul approach. So step two, choose your priority goal, which means your entire planning and hard work should not compromise on achieving the best possible outcome from first priority goal with maintaining healthy management of all of our other goals. And that's where first app recommendation comes in. Notion. Now it's safe to disagree step 2, after all every year countless students are giving competitive exams with only one goal in mind and less than 1% getting the desired results. Now let's talk about the easiest way to get ahead of 99% of people starting today. But before that, a quick announcement, GFG had improved their team for gate with mentors like Chandan Jha, renowned for his cutting edge methods in gate CS coaching, Dr. Khalil, a PhD in computer science with 29 plus years of experience, Devan Chesar, an IIT Bombay alumnus with 14 plus years of teaching gate aspirants, building 10 plus expert design courses for gate 2026, 2027, 2028 aspirants, packed with 300 plus hours of recorded content and 900 plus hours of live sessions with 24 by 7 one on one AI doubt assistance and access to supporting notes, documentations and DPPs for every lecture, ensuring no topic is left unexplained. All the courses are taught in English and English so that students all over India can access it. To know more, you can check the link in my description and also avail exciting discounts. Now let's come back to the video. UPSC Civil Service Exam, the toughest competitive exam in India. Recent, big syllabus, lengthy selection, a candidate has to prepare one year for prelims, three to four months for mains and three to four months for personality test. All this with competing with 13 lakh aspirants and for 1255 vacancies every year. So the chances of getting selected is 0.000965. And if you study all these toppers who had made it in UPSC, the one underlying character is... I have friends who have completely cut off from uh, social media for one, one and a half years when they were studying. I have a negative energy So I was a little insulated So that insulation I think helped me. So we have to keep this attention. We have to study social networking sites. 
दूर रहें They simply isolate them. Step three, disappear. Your ability to evolve is probably highest in isolation. Cut off from social media. Become unavailable. But you will regret it if you don't tell what you have done. That's why in step nine, we'll see how to reappear properly. Now step four, be a mystery. Now one mistake before disappearing is. Hey Ravi, I'm going to prepare for gate. Oh, that's so cool, bro. Did you notice that? We are actually getting rewards for inaction. Now, if that person is someone who doesn't like you, he will say, "Hey Surya, I'm going to prepare for gate." Gate? 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 Now does it look like a immature reason to pursue a goal which we had already decided to do? So step four, stay silent. Now I want to share a cutty story in 30 seconds of a real person whom to me is the goat of greatest comeback. That person failed in JEE. He joined a state college. He is very passionate about engineering and wants to contribute more to the nation. So he cracked gate and did M Tech at IIT Kanpur. Fast forwards to decades later, he is now the chairman of JEE, the director of NIR of one college. Our honourable director, Professor Kamal Kotti. Take my JEE example. Yeah. I failed in JEE. I became chairman of JEE. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Be humble. A man with insane patience, perseverance, and purpose. So one time we went to have a podcast to talk about career success. During the interview, sir mentioned one idea that. Deeply resonated with me. Whatever you do, whatever you do, do it with. If you are a cobbler, be the best cobbler. You got it right. So step five: be so good that no one or no exam can't ignore you. Now the question comes: how to be the best? I read about a great comeback story of a sports team in Atomic Habits book. Till 2003, nearly for 110 years, British cycling team haven't won a single race. TVs often report them as doormat for other teams. And in 2003, they appointed a new coach, and within years, they dominated Olympics and won every prestigious. Trophy. The thing is, they did insane hard work previously as well. So, what did they do different in second time? They did the hard work in right direction. After a new coach, they looked into every areas that contributes to performance, including seat design, tire grip, and they implemented right methods to improve. So, it. step six: build the right systems. Because hard work beats talent if the hard work is the right work. Systems, in simple words, is strategy or methods in which we do things. Now, app recommendation to Spotify. There is one thing that majorly contributed in my life in terms of me. Based Making better decisions and getting results, which is constant learning. Spotify is an amazing platform which have a dedicated section for podcast where one can watch or listen for free. And if you are looking for some podcast to level up as a student, I would recommend these. And if you know about me, I read a lot as well, and I would recommend reading as well. Here are five of the best book recommendations for students. Step seven. Don't fight alone. While researching for this video, I watched the interviews of toppers from Gate, ESE, UPSC. Especially, I'm looking for AR one cracked in first term, provided they should from Tier Three college to find out common factor that is present among them. Now there is a good news and bad news. The bad news is of all toppers, I've seen only one AR one from Gate in first term from Tier Three. And the good news is all rangers had one thing in common, which is I studied in Bhopal, जहाँ पे I reside. So it was good for me. वहाँ पे थोड़ा मम्मी से आई टू टॉक उनके हाथ का खाना खाती थी पापा से बात आई हैव लिटिल ब्रदर तो तीन लोग आपके साथ हैं आपके फ्रेंड्स हैं आप सर थे आप हमारे साथ थे कांस्टेंट मोटिवेशन एज अ कांस्टेंट मोटिवेशन पेरेंट्स थे घर पे उन्हें मैं देखता रहता था तो आई डोंट थिंक कि फ्रेंडिंग For lack of better words, snake. These are the people who support in front and secretly want us to fail. The words coming out from their mouth is just words to comfort our soul. There is no intention to help. Now, three app recommendations for staying focused. My favorite app for focus is Forest. People think it's just an app that grows tree after the timer, but it's more than that. Here are three things they don't. First is if one turn on headphone button, it will play a forest ambient song with birds chirping. It's so enjoying. Second is it gamifies our study sessions. Not just rewards after every sessions. Like video games, there are daily challenges, which is simply focused sessions 
which if we complete we will earn rewards so during the focus sessions when deep focus mode is on it won't let us access to other apps except the one which we are allowed it in default and the next tool recommendation is actually default in our phone how many of you actually relate to this super idol the show do me So the best system will always to prevent seeing it in first place. So next tool recommendation is do not disturb. Now how many of you experienced this? We'll come to open Instagram and after 25 minutes we realize what the fuck just happened? So one way to be more mindful is using digital well-being tool. It's default in phones where you can actually set how much time a day you can spend on apps. And if you cross that time limit, it will give a reminder. So we will be more intentional with how we use our phone. But worry not if you feel you are using your phone a little higher than usual. I'll recommend three more tools that will help you to beat that distraction. Step eight. measure one of the most important process of achieving goals is measuring progress but in the context of competitive exams we can't directly measure results especially in the beginning on those time frame we can measure the inputs like we can easily track how many hours we spend every day every week and every month adding to it science says the probability of you getting success in goal is higher if it's exactly 3 months or 12 weeks or one quarter of a year the actual goal may be more than 3 months but splitting it in parts which can be achieved in 3 Months increases the probability of success. Now there is one thing that majorly slows our progress, which is distractions. Now that we have already taken steps to kill external distractions, now it's time to turn off internal distractions. Internal distractions. Whenever we face some negative issues with the task, we crave for positive feel. So these three tools will help. One, block it, which is completely free. What actually it does is, when you set the timer, un unlike other apps, you have no options to access the phone except making calls. And if you want to end it, you have to buy a parachute, which actually cost real. Indian money. Next, one sec. What it does is, when you open apps that you blocked in one sec, it will never let you open it immediately. It will take some time. Most often, if you are habituated to use phones with intention, then this app slows you down. And third, if you are someone who regularly uses laptop for preparation, then try Power Block. It is a Chrome extension where you add the websites which you think is most distracting. And every time you open that website, it will block it and it will show you a sad pic of cute animal. If you still want to visit it and this picture turns happy if you decide to go back i like that but still if you feel you never want to access any website you can set settings in such a way that power block will never let you in it now step 9 reappear now after you made all the changes and changed your life you will be much more mature in such a way that you don't want to tell other people about you you prefer the growth in silence over talking about the success and the fun part is you will be loaded with opportunities and invitation that will lead you to know to person who doesn't even know you that's the power of success now actually for keeping the video in time frame i did Been told one important point of all successful people, which is they wake up early morning and utilize the power of morning. Harvard Business Publication mentions students who prefer to wake up early and study is performing better than those who prefer to study late. So utilize the morning. But the problem is waking up early is hard. There are many times we try to be a morning person, but we end up snoozing only. But luckily, science is there to help us. Check out this video where I had shared the Huberman method on the fastest way to become a morning person. Stay driven. Bye bye. But I see the light from far away it's down the line maybe I should not give up without a fight